To create a new project, or open an existing project, or edit the current project, or to simply collect data, select Collect from the JField home screen. Here the user is guided to the Collect Prepare screen. Each gray box outlines an active tile in the Collect Prepare screen. First, let's take a look at how to create a new project. First, we'll select the active tile labeled Project. Here, we're taken to the Project screen with options for Edit Current Project, Create New Project, Open Project from List, Open Project from Calendar, should we remember what day we worked on a job rather than its name, the ability to send a project to support, and the wonderful ability to archive a current project with all of its associated files into one compressed zipped folder. Let's select Create New Project. Here we're taken to the Project Settings screen. The default name of a project is the current day in calendar form along with an alpha designator. The project coordinate system is taken from the project coordinate system of the previous project. And users are able to import a background map in SQLite format. An example of the background map can be seen on the Triumph LSs connected to the Javad Roadshow. For this demonstration, I want to change the name of the current project to New Job. And I want to change the project coordinate system to NAD83 State Plane for Texas North Central. I've already created this coordinate system through Coordinate System located on the home page of the JField software. Now I need to select this coordinate system from my list of coordinate systems. Now let's take a look at Pages. Pages are a relatively new concept surveying software. Pages function much like sub-projects within the project. They're similar in setup to a project. They're useful uh, for the purposes of segregating points based on type or significance to a project. For instance, uh, one page could be set for control, one for boundary, one for topographic points. Or perhaps you'd like to separate the different days that you work on a project into different sub-projects or pages so that the first day is collected in one page and then the second day is collected in the second page and so on. Or perhaps you'd like to separate your imported points from your survey points or some variation of all these. Pages offer a lot of flexibility that has previously been unavailable to surveyors. Here, I want to create a page for surveyed points. Notice that a page can have its own coordinate system. The default coordinate system for a page is the project coordinate system that we set up when we created the project. Shape tags. JField has the ability to connect points with lines or curves without the use of special action codes, as is common in other data collection software. Those polylines can then be exported as DXF, DWG, or DGN files directly from the JField software with no need for additional conversion software on a PC. Just as points have names, geometries, or shapes have names as well. Shape tags. Shape tags are used in the software to designate individual polylines but have no functional use outside of JField. Shape tags natively have codes. Points also have codes. Codes are similar to AutoCAD layers. In fact, when users set up their own codes in JField, they are encouraged to build their codes from their own CAD layers. At export, when polylines and curves are exported, the layers assigned to those geometries are based on the codes. Codes in JField have an additional feature, attributes. Up to five attributes are assigned by the user for each code. These attributes allow users to quickly and accurately describe a point or polyline with minimal keystrokes. These attributes can be exported with points as the description field for other survey software. For this example, I want to change the shape tag to curb. 
When I created the shape tag curb, I also included the code BOC. BOC is my abbreviation for back of curb, which I use in AutoCAD as the layer for my curbs. I've also set up three attributes, curb height, curb width, and pan width. When I export the points collected with this code, these attributes will also be exported as well. Point names in JField can be numeric or alphanumeric. Descriptions have a large capacity of up to 255 characters. The white boxes above the number row on the keyboard recall the last four entries for each text field. Instrument heights, as well as most other entries regarding linear distances, can be entered in a variety of units. Here, the units are set for this survey to be meters, but I can change these units to suit whatever measurement I might have at the moment. The view button at the bottom row controls the visibility of items displayed on the map screens, while the center button controls our quick setups. Here we can recall a particular survey style that suits our particular needs for the point being located. Next to that, is a battery status indicator that shows us an estimated time remaining for the charge on the battery. The next button takes us to our collect action screen.